Good morning, it is Sunday. It's actually a little bit late, it's like half 10. I've been up for a couple of hours, um, but not really doing anything, just chilling out because it's Sunday. Um, I'm gonna do my yoga. I'm on day 30 of 30 days of yoga with Adrienne. So I'm gonna do that now. I think I'm gonna do it outside. I did that yesterday and it was really nice. Um, and yeah, today's going to be a bit of a chill day just because the weather is so nice. I think I just want to sunbathe and read my book and try and recoup a little bit from the week. <laughs> um, and yeah, I think this is going to be like a few days of vlogging, maybe, maybe like two days, little bits and bobs, and we'll just see how it goes. So I'm going to put on my little headphones headband. I actually got this to sleep in because I've been listening to sleep casts on Headspace most evenings to get to sleep. I was finding that my brain was just running and running and running like the past few months before lockdown even. I wanted to try out Headspace and meditation and stuff but I find that like earbuds in my ear are really uncomfortable because I always sleep on my side. So I got this from Amazon, it was like under 20 pounds I think. And it's really good, it's Bluetooth, so you don't have to have a wire or anything. It's really, really good. And you can also use it to work out in. Oh, also, if you see this, this is sunburn. I did wear sun cream yesterday, but clearly not enough. And yeah, unfortunately, what are you gonna do when you're a ginge? So I have done my yoga, I've had something to eat and I'm gonna go outside in a minute, but yeah, I didn't realize that the 30th day on the 30 days of yoga is not guided. So she does it on the screen and stuff, but you don't have her voice. So you just have to either like do your own thing or try and like follow her as much as you can by looking at what she's doing. And it was so much harder. I don't think I like that. I know I understand that she was doing it because she wanted you to like make your own decisions and that you had the autonomy and that you were good enough at yoga that you knew what to do. And for a lot of it, I did. It was kind of all like second nature, I guess, after you've done so much yoga like consecutively and it's that kind of routine that she's been working up to. So you kind of know like what's coming next. Ugh, I just found it a lot harder and it's really tired me out. So I'm gonna chill for the rest of the day. No, not for the rest of the day. I'm not gonna chill for the rest of the day, but I'm gonna chill for a few hours now. And then later I wanna do some like organizing of stuff. So like the living room is just cluttered at the moment. I think I want to move some of the furniture around and stuff and then also my bathroom countertop just needs like organizing and sorting out all my skincare and like bath products and stuff. Not that I have tons but um, I will show you guys through that on the vlog but yeah gonna take a few hours to just chill on a Sunday. I will show you the garden actually because the garden is looking so pretty. It's really nice having an outdoor space now that we live in a house. I have been wanting lavender for the flower beds because I love lavender. Purple's my favourite colour and so I got some of that. So I've just planted it so they look like only tiny at the moment but um, our pots are looking quite nice and we've got some tulips and bluebells and stuff so I'll show you that and make a coffee, an iced coffee, always, and read my book. I'm reading um, Michelle Obama's autobiography at the moment, which is good, but it's not as good as I thought it would be. She's amazing and like her writing is great, but her like it's not as gripping 
as I thought it was going to be. And I don't know if that's just because I'm reading it at home instead of on holiday and my mind is always like thinking like, oh, you should be putting a washing load on or you could be doing this right now or you could be doing that right now. I find it really, really hard to focus on reading at home. So I don't know if it's just that or if it's just that like, there's a lot of obviously politics in it because she is like explaining the journey up up to Barack getting elected like I'm just on the election campaign at the moment in the book and that stuff I find really boring <laughs> so I'm more interested in like the home life and like them as people and like what their careers were and stuff like that and obviously politics is going to be a huge part of the career but I really want to find out like what it was like being the first lady as well um not so interested in the actual politics bit um but that's just me all right I'm gonna cut away and you're gonna listen to some music whilst seeing the garden I'm gonna make a coffee and sunbathe for a bit and then I will see you later Oh, I'm so sunburnt. Hello, it is a little bit later now and I wanted a break from lying in the sun because I have coated myself in sun cream several times in the past like few hours. So just wanted to say I'm learning from yesterday's rookie error. Yeah, as I said, I wanted to do a little bit of organizing in the bathroom. It's just looking a little bit cluttered and messy and I just need to sort through things so I'll show you what we're working with. So this area of the counter is where I just keep all my skincare stuff <laughs> and bits and bobs. Um, I have like all my daily routine stuff in this organiser here. I do have a video where I talk through near enough everything that's on here i don't I haven't really got any new things since that video except for the tanning bits um and then here i have like extra stuff that is just sort of sat there for a while and i need to properly go through and like put away or get rid of or you know just do something with and then here we have like bath products just random stuff that has like just sat there for a while a candle lighter like just lots of stuff and bath products as well so and it just needs to be more organized i want to like try and clear space off the countertop and maybe put like this basket underneath in these cupboards because i do like having it all out so that I remember to use it, but I don't like that it looks cluttered. So I'm thinking I'm gonna get rid of this, put it underneath with like bath products in and then put empties because I've also been collecting my empties eventually to do an empties video, but it just takes forever to use up products. So I might put them in a different basket because they're all in the same thing at the moment and it gets mixed up and I, I'm just, I never like, get things out of here because it's just too messy <laughs> so definitely need a better solution for that stuff and then I will leave my daily routine stuff out on the countertop but this is all I want on the countertop nothing outside of it <laughs>
We are organized. Um, I've just put my empties in here for now. Obviously, I could have a smaller one, but this is the only size basket I have that's not in use. So I just pop them in there for now. That's gonna go in the cabinet along with this, which is just my bath stuff and like skincare bits that I don't really use very much. Bath salts, bath foam stuff from Tisserand. Um, this is just something that I got in like a little gift set, um, which I will use up at some point. Um, I'm not sure Sanctuary is cruelty free, but in case you didn't know, I actually, if people give me presents that I think I would use that aren't cruelty free, I don't throw them away and I don't give them away. I use them up. So that is why some of you, that's why that is there. Um, then I have this little headband that I got as a freebie from Beauty Bay when I ordered some of their skincare stuff and that's my mitt um, and then my candle lighter is at the bottom in case I ever want to light candles in the bath. And then this is all that's actually going to be on the countertop once we're done um, putting all of that away somewhere. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so this is just my skincare. As I say, I have talked through, I think everything here I've talked through, except for this, which is just a little Dermalogica skin resurfacing cleanser. I like to use this when I'm doing like a pamper night, um, like a treatment night, if my skin needs a little bit more exfoliation. And then um, these tan stuff, these tanning bits, so this is the Tan Lux Face Drops. Um, these are really good, but don't use more than one drop because they go orange. One drop mixed in with your moisturizer gives you a really pretty sun-kissed sun face. I don't like to use regular tan on my face just because my face can be quite sensitive and I prefer using stuff that's meant for the face on the face. Um, but I do have this little mini of the Saint Tropez Self Tan Express. I do have a whole video applying this, I believe. If you look up my self tanning video, I'll try and link it in the description box as well. Then you'll see this in action, but this is just a really good one. I don't really use self tan a lot anymore, but I, which is why I got the mini version because Honestly, after a year, these go funny and they don't apply the same. So I was finding that I would like use half of it and then the rest would go bad. So I only bought the mini just because I know I, I have more opportunity to use that whole thing up then. And it's cheaper and it came with that mitt that you just saw. So these are hidden away in here. Thank you very much. And this is now all we have on the countertop. Well, <laughs> kind of. So yeah, that's it. I'm probably going to film the living room organization bits tomorrow now because, I don't know, it's getting quite late and um, Adam's on the PlayStation, so. So yeah, we'll do that tomorrow after work. And I'm also gonna talk you through tomorrow, I think a little bit of my work routine. I don't know, just something a bit different, work from home and stuff. I know a lot of people are doing it and they might want to see how other people do it. I don't know, it's something I like watching at the moment. I'm gonna make bean enchiladas tonight. So I might film that too and that's about it. again so I'm gonna make my enchiladas now I am using a BBC good food recipe which looks oh Merlin wants feeding yeah I know I'll give you food in a sec I'm using this BBC good food recipe this is 
the recipe here. Oh, it's very good. So it looks really easy. You just like make a veggie chili with some beans, some chopped tomatoes, some veg, chili powder, and then you roll it into tortillas and then cheese on top and then you put it in the oven. So I'm gonna make it now and then cook it a little bit later because we're Zooming with my family in about 50 minutes. I'll just make it so it's all ready to go and then I can just bung it in the oven after we're done on Zoom. I will leave a link to it in the description box as well so you guys can make it too if you want. Okay, so this is what we are looking like. I subbed a few things out from the recipe. I didn't have mixed beans, so I just used chickpeas and mashed them up a bit just because I like the texture of that better than whole chickpeas and beans and stuff in a chili. And then I also added peppers, a stock cube, and I added a splash of water as well. I halved most of the ingredients because it's for four, but I think I'm still gonna have chili leftover we'll see how it goes i'm just gonna leave that to kind of cook down for like 15 minutes and then i'll probably leave it on a really low heat or with the lid on um, until i'm finished zooming and then i will spread a little bit on each wrap sprinkle the cheese on top once all of the wraps are kind of folded and laid out in this oven tray put the cheese on top and then put it in the oven for like 10 to 15 minutes just so the wraps go kind of crispy and the cheese is melted and that's my enchiladas so i will show you what the finished ones look like and eat them and then i will probably see you tomorrow Good morning, it is now Monday. Um, I went for a walk this morning. It is always good, I find, for my brain if I can kind of try and separate the weekend from the work day. I have problems focusing if I don't do that. So I went for a walk this morning. I've just been trying to like get out of the house as often as I can, don't get me wrong, I don't do that every single morning, but if I can just get out of the house, either go for like a half an hour, 40 minute walk, best case scenario, um, 20 minutes, worst case scenario, just to literally like get my mind out of weekend slash sleeping slash relaxing mode and into the fresh air and like rejuvenated for the week ahead. I'm finding that that's really helping me. Then I got back, I had some breakfast. That's kind of at the moment my little morning routine and then I just come up here for about nine o'clock, sit at my desk and at the moment I'm in the makeup room working. Sometimes Adam and I switch between the living rooms and the, and the makeup room. Yeah, just been working away since then. I'm 
I'm enjoying my coffee now. Normally, about 11 o'clock or so, I will make my iced coffee. Um, I try not to drink it before then just because I it's cold <laughs> and I don't really like drinking like iced things that early in the morning and I like to like let my breakfast settle and go down and kind of line my stomach a bit before I have all the caffeine so what I normally do is I'll have I'll go out for a walk as I said have my breakfast when I get back log in do some work for an hour a couple of hours have a catch-up call and then make my iced coffee and then it's like another hour and a half couple of hours till lunch so I think that's really key with working from home and it's certainly what gets me through is just thinking of things and like the next hour is going to be this or I'm going to try and get this done in the next 30 minutes and then reward myself with like a snack or you know whatever it is I also do try and do my makeup obviously I haven't done my makeup today but um if I uh like if I didn't go for a walk for example that would be another way that I could try and make myself feel more put together more awake um instead of like getting outside put some makeup on and I always 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 try my hardest to put jeans on put a proper outfit on as if I was really going to work because otherwise I just want to laze around the house and look on Instagram all day so <laughs> that's kind of the the little sort of ways that I try and manage my brain when I'm working from home because otherwise I find that I do just get very unfocused and I browse the internet a lot. I also really love listening to lo-fi music when I'm working. I find that it just helps me focus so much to have some like background music that doesn't have any words, that's no, you know, I'm not gonna like dance along to it because I love that song. It's just kind of like ambient music in the background. So I listen to lo-fi, there's a couple of playlists on Spotify. If you just put into Spotify lo-fi, I think it's lo-fi beats, lo-fi cafe, they're just really good to have on shuffle if you need to like focus for an hour or so. And then the other thing that I use is Focus Assist on Microsoft or um, if I'm on my Mac, I use the Do Not Disturb function. So that basically means that it turns off notifications so you don't get emails popping up in the corner of your screen. Um, and you can just turn it on and off, on and off when you wanna focus. Um, so if I've got like a project that I need to work on that afternoon and get a certain amount of stuff done and I need to not be distracted, I will switch that on and I will switch off like iMessage notifications or like Skype notifications, stuff like that, so that I'm not constantly being distracted by like little things coming into my screen <laughs> and wanting to click on that email to read it. Yeah, that's pretty much it. I always make sure I have a lunch break. I try and take a full hour. If I can't, then I try and at least have half an hour just to like go downstairs, eat some food, sit outside for a bit, sit on the sofa for a bit, just like change the scenery up. Um, I personally find that that is the best way that I can focus by regularly like moving and taking breaks. Um, Sitting in one spot for too long really makes me get distracted way more easily. Okay, so this is my living room situation at the moment. <laughs> it's a real time, real life living room. Yes, I feed my cat on the sofa. He won't eat anywhere else. He's got kidney problems. So <laughs> however we can get him to eat, we do that. Merlin gets what Merlin wants. He's a very spo spoilt kitty. Yeah, so we have like this, area which is obviously TV sitting area a uh, very old horrible fireplace so this just needs all cleaning up and tidying and stuff so I want to get rid of this it's really nice having all the photos out of like it's all of our family photos and stuff um, 
and I do like it but it's just this room isn't built for this much clutter so I want to get rid of that put the photos away upstairs and I'll find another use for them somewhere um not sure what to do with the lamp yet and then this area beanbag needs to go upstairs Adam plays his PlayStation on there but it should live upstairs and then table is set up for like Adam's work space and then here we just again we've just got too much stuff in this room so this is getting pretty ratty now and um, Merlin has pretty much destroyed this so we'll probably get rid of that at some point but it can stay there for now and then I think I'm going to move this again do something with the photos not sure what yet move it out so that this area is all like clear i'm probably going to put that in storage somewhere because merlin never uses that bed and then i think what we will do eventually is get rid of this and replace it with some kind of small cat scratch post slash tower thing because he really likes sleeping or sitting on things that are of a certain height <laughs> um so i've seen one that i like that i will get eventually and that spot's a really good place to put it because it's gets the sun when the sun's out and we also we on the walls and stuff we have like you know like this mirror which we got from a charity shop and this like old painting that my mum was getting rid of and we adopted um which none nothing really here is how i would want it long term except the table i like the table <laughs> and the sofa's okay but i want to change the cushions because i'm bored of just it being all really neutral um and i like our little painting here but everything else i would change <laughs> but it's just not a priority at the moment for us to be buying furniture this place is not a permanent place for us and I just don't, so most of the furniture we've got is really cheap stuff that's not like lifetime pieces. It's just sort of interim stuff that we bought when we got our own place. Whilst we figured out like what our style is and things like that, well, let's face it, Adam doesn't have an interior design style. What my style is, because <laughs> um, he just, he doesn't like things looking super modern other than that. He's fine with whatever I pick. So <laughs> I'm gonna put you on a time lapse and let's see what we can do with this. Okay, I feel like we are in a little bit of a better position here. So that plant is <laughs> a fake plant, um, which I really, really like, but I just cannot work out where to put it in this room so that it will like look good and not over clutter the space. I think I'm happy with it for now. I need to just like live with it for a few days and see how I feel. Um, I don't love where I've put this cat scratcher, but as I said, I think we are actually gonna get rid of this at some point anyway, because it's getting pretty gross, but I think it's better there anyway, because Merlin gets a bit more of a run up. He really likes like running up to it, and because it was over there, sort of behind the table and next to the window, he couldn't really get to it properly. So, um, yeah, he's already like used it two or three times since I moved it there. So I think it's a much better position for him, even though I don't love how it looks in the space. Um, and then I've just moved that there just because we need to have some kind of lamp lighting situation there because otherwise the room gets way too dark when we have the main lights off and we like to be cozy and have the main lights off in the evening. Yeah, and then I've tidied this up so I've got rid of a lot of the stuff that was just cluttering under there. I've like moved a lot of the cables and stuff. And then this 
it still looks a mess because I haven't like fluffed the cushions or anything but yeah this is obviously the seating area this is my little arrangement on the um mantelpiece um yeah so I do think it looks a lot more spacious in general and obviously you've got like the dining area and stuff over there but yeah I'm pretty happy with it so I'm gonna sign off this vlog now I hope that you enjoyed it as a bit of a mashup of a few days but hopefully it was fun for you to watch I'm really hot after doing all that moving around um and yeah I hope that you're all keeping well staying safe in lockdown not going out as much as possible and I will see you in the next video Bye.